Hey guys, what's up? This is Jigga Man, and I'm coming at you with a Let's Play of TEW 2013, and this is episode 2, and as you can see, we're booking Monday Night Raw here, and um, as you can see towards the uh, the top of the screen, I have, um, I changed Raw to 2 hours, and well, first, I want to show you guys that I actually just noticed um, and I had to set everything up again, while I'm off camera. I just noticed that, um, I was using the November 2014 mod. <laughs> so, I had to go and get down the January 2015 one, because that's all the storylines I was doing and everything. And that's why I set everything up. So I did, I changed everything to, um, um, to match all the different stuff. I'm, one thing I might not have did, which I'll do now, is, yeah, add the team of Cesaro and Kid. Which I just came to my head. Cesaro and Kid. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. These two workers are already in a team in this company. Huh? Oh, they have him in as Masters of the WWE Universe. I'll just change the name to Cesaro and Tyson Kid. Okay. There we go. That works. Save that up. Okay, so pretty much all the storylines I set up last time are the ones here. So we know all the storylines and everything. Announcers, I have everything set up. Everything's good to go. Yeah, so I think we're ready. I just want to go to creator for a second. So our number one most, so our number one franchise player, John Cena. Number two, Randy Orton. And these all, and this, the text under it is all pretty much generic, generic stuff. No need to read that. Number three is Daniel Bryan. Four, Dolph Ziggler. Five is Big Show. Next big things we got are AJ Lee, Xavier Woods, Emma, and Alicia Fox. Some hot prospects: AJ Lee, Xavier Woods, Emma. Rusev and Jimmy Jimmy Uso. Talk the talk, our best talkers, Mr. McMahon, Triple H, John Cena, Paul Heyman, and Dean Ambrose. Showstoppers, John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Stardust, and Cesaro. Ring Generals, D. Bry, John Cena, Miz, Cesaro, Natalia, who's hot? D. Bry, Bray Wyatt, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, and Big Show, who's not? Zack Ryder, Diego, Jack Swagger, The Miz, and Ryback. Time to climb. Well, he's eight years past his prime. The Undertaker at 49 years of age. Same thing with Sting, 55 years of age, and um, he's st and with 47 years of age, Kane is nearing it. Okay, so we take a look at that. Take that into account. We head over. Time to book a two-hour RAW. And also one other change. I decided to just go with um. I don't know if it'll show it here. I decided to go with uh Triple H, Paul Levesque. As the uh, owner and head booker of uh, WWE, as if he took over for Vince McMahon and he stepped down and, and made the change to Raw to make it two hours, which is something that he mentioned that he would do. So just he's going to be the owner and head booker. It's not going to make much of a difference, but he's going to be instead of uh, Vince. So I think that'll be an interesting turn. Okay, so first things first, we want to go in. And I want to create a Royal Rumble Contenders angle. A way to, you know, kick the show off hot. And um, get all, like, you know, the big name, all our big name guys, our contenders for the Rumble. Get them all in the ring, cutting promos and stuff on each other. And I think that'll be something um, that'll be good for ratings there. Um, no, all entertainment, they're all going to be saying something. So that'll be that. I think that'll be a good way to kick off the show and kind of let everyone know that these are big contenders for the Rumble and kind of, but still keep it where you saw people guessing on who's going to win the Rumble. Talk, confrontation, hype, the fold angle, yes, keep it in the database. Everything's good there. Save. We're Rumble contenders. And now we add in our six Rumble contenders, starting with D. Bry, the Viper, Roman Reigns, 
Um, Big Show, Mark Henry, and Bray Wyatt. And we'll have them all in there. 15 minutes to kick off the show. Eh, that probably seems a bit long. 10 minutes to kick off the show. There we go. And then that'll lead into... Huh. Definitely a good... Um, work rate match. We'll go one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to have some good workers in there to kind of kick off the show after a, a decently long promo of 10 minutes long. I want to get Cesaro in there to pick up a W against the babyface. So let's look at our babyfaces here. Um, you know who he can win against? Kofi Kingston. That'll be a good match. We'll give him 12 minutes to have a pretty solid match. Cesaro to be the victor. Open match. Good way to kick off the show. And then... I'll throw in one of my... An angle that won't be so hot. That won't get great ratings. Natalia and the Nikki Bella storyline. And we can have... One-on-one. -on -one. Natalia versus... Free Bella. And I'll give him six minutes. Brie Bell is going to get the win in an open match. But it's going to be a tainted win. It's going to be outside interference finish. And we're going to get an interference by Nikki Bella. And Halley should be attacked by Nikki Bella. There we go. And then add an angle after. Which will be... Post-match attack. I think I there should be a post-match attack for two on one. Yep, there is. Victim, Natalia, and then Nikki and Bree will be the attackers. Six-minute post-match beatdown. Not bad. So we got we got we got 77 more minutes to book. I want the uh, first hour to end. Um, with uh, Dean Ambrose and uh, Dolph Ziggler's segment kind of thing going on. We'll see how we'll build that. Not really too sure because babyface, babyface. So we kind of, we kind of got to go in and decide how we're gonna book that one. Not really too sure yet, actually, how I'm gonna book babyface, babyface. But I'll, it, it'll be more kind of thing. We'll kind of keep them away from each other. It's not gonna be like they have any hatred for each other. But like, yeah. We'll, I'll, I'll kind of see it, book it as it goes along. Um, who can use a match? I think maybe for the semi-main or the main event, we can get some of the Royal Rumble contenders in like a tag match or something. I think that'll be a good way to book the uh, Rumble. I mean, I already got them on the show, so maybe I could do that for next week. That could be something. Not really 100% sure how I'm going to go ahead with that, but we'll kind of see. Um, let's just see what we book next. I guess probably the next thing to book is a, um, is the Seamus and Rusev angle. Uh, well, first, I'll go with Rusev squash match. Nope, not Rosa Mendes. Uh, R Truth. Uh, Rusev squash R Truth. I mean, even though he's going to be an icy title match, but that thing is kind of just throwing guys into a match. I mean, it should be a very good match, but it's more of just kind of throwing guys in there and getting a multi-man match and giving Pete guys thing to do. But nonetheless, will be a good match. So I'm I'm pretty excited for that, for um, for Mania. And then. the best way to go about this. This will probably be the best one. Lana and Rusev about Seamus. I 
Lana M. Rusev. Disrespect. Respect. The U.S. and Sheamus. Okay, that works. Lana and Rusev disrespect the U.S. and Sheamus. That looks about right to me. And we're nearing um, our uh, first hour mark. So we got 10 minutes to our first hour mark. Which I believe I'm going to have Dean Ambrose win a number one contenders match. I think that's how I'll go ahead and do and book it for the IC title. Olive Ambrose and Curtis Axel go 12 minutes. Dean Ambrose to be the victor in an open match. Number one contenders match for. I see title. Okay, that works for me. I want to scale this back to 10 minutes, so. Alright, so that'll be a good angle there. And then I'll have Ambrose cut a hype promo. Yeah. Dean Ambrose on Dolph Ziggler, 6 minutes. Yeah, but I want more to just be Ambrose kind of picks up the mic and kind of just goes with it rather than. But he should be. I mean, he's taught. He's he's gonna mention Ziggler's name, so it should be right on Overness. And I'll have. And I'll have. Um, Dolph, uh, Dean Ambrose cut a promo on Dolph Ziggler. Pretty much, he'll say Dean Ambrose. It'll be about him wanting, wants the IC title. Okay, that works. Dean Ambrose wants the IC title. So still 47 more minutes to book. And the main event kind of angle we'll have is a triple threat world title match between... Uh, Brock, Cena, and Rollins. I think that works. Okay. And I guess the next thing to do is the Usos want their titles back. And we'll go ahead and book. I guess I could just do a hype 2v2. Can I have Jimmy and Jey Uso? Six minutes. The Usos want their their rematch with the Dust Brothers. That works. Dust Dust Brothers. Okay, that works for me. Usos want the rematch with the Dust Brothers. Okay, 41 more minutes to go. Um, I want... Who hasn't been booked on the show yet? I'll definitely get to all the other guys, but I definitely want to get... Is Ziggler on the show? Oh, no, he's not. Main eventer right there. Yeah, Ziggler definitely should be booked on this show. And some heel that Ziggler can beat. Mark, no, Nikki, no. Definitely not. Rusev or Rollins. I guess Miz is the guy to lose. 10 minute match. Dolph Ziggler to be the victor. Open match. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Definitely got to get some more angles in there. Trying to see what we can do. I could just do a 
generic Bray White promo. That'll definitely work. Bray White just goes out there, does what Bray White does, cuts a nice promo. You can have a match. Oh, well. I don't. I mean, Miz vs. Dolph Ziggler should do probably well. And we already built up the Royal Rumble match, so I guess we could just do. But we probably need to fill some more time. Trying to see what if there's any heals that can take a loss. I guess we can go ahead and do. Well, actually, that gives me a better idea. We could do Ryback beating the Miz in an eight-minute match. Ryback to be the victor in an open match. I know Miz is not going to lose two matches in a row, but I do want to move this. And change this to what I think will be a better semi main in Dolph Ziggler versus Luke Harper. Make it 12 minutes. Yes. Bray Wyatt's promo there. And then I wonder if there will be a three way brawl here somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't see anything here. I'll make my own. Nope, not clone angle. Angle rider. Three way brawl. Okay, three way brawl. There we go. Catalyst. Copy. Paste. Okay. So, yeah, pretty much essentially what I'm going to be doing here is going it's going to be just a a brawl. I guess I could start off as a promo between the three of them, then have it just break out into an all out brawl between uh Rollins and I mean I don't know. Eh. Actually I don't think I don't think we should make it physical just yet. Three way hype. Catalyst support and then catalyst. That works. On screen. No, not the full angle, but keeping the database. And where to go? Oh, it's not default. What did I name? Oh, Jesus! I forgot what I named it. Uh, three-way hype. Three-way hype. Three-way hype. What the? What did I do with it? I'm pretty sure I named it three-way hype. Oh, but it's not three participants, but I still have a three-way hype. Ah, that'd be it. Okay. It's going to be three-way hype. Um, here's going to be Paul Heyman. And supporting him is Brock Lesnar. Because Paul Heyman is going to be doing most of the talking for Brock, of course. And then Seth Rollins. They'll all have the mic. And that will be the way we close the show. But we definitely need... I can give Bray another minute. I can get another promo somewhere here. Um, I could just have a kind of taunt. 
definitely should be based on overness. And I could have Big Show Taunt Daniel Bryan. And that'll be in between the show somewhere. Maybe. Okay, right there. It's fine. And there we go. That's pretty much the show. All right, let's run it. See how it goes. Here we go. Oh, what a way to kick off a Raw 80 rating on that segment. Fans are pumped. They're ready. Got the dirt sheet over here. Getting pretty much everything for a good gimmick. High momentum. Good to go. 62 rating. Did they get any negatives on that? For holding back slightly poor gimmick. Holding back slightly. Penalized for inconsistency. But 62 rating. Good match for some of these mid-card guys. Divas match, not too bad. I'll take it. I'll take it for the Divas match. Divas angle, 43. I'll take it. Squash match, I guess that's to be expected. The angle could have been a lot better. Solid um, number one contenders match between Dean and Curtis. 69, I'll take it. 74, that's what I love about Dean. He just nails those promos. Eh, not so much for the Usos. Oof, Big Show nails that promo taunting Daniel Bryan. Miz and Ryback, solid match. Bray Wyatt kills every promo. Amazing. Luke and Dolph could have been better. Great angle to, to end the show. The show, okay, not bad. 72 final rating. All right, well, let's well let's see if there's anything, uh, any signings from the guys as I advance forward. Um, I'm only going to be doing uh, Raws on here for the shows, so I'm not really going to be doing any of uh, SmackDown. Let's see our ratings. 5.50 on, on USA Network. I'll take it. And it looks like that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. This is the Sugar Man, and I'm signing out.